We're going to take a quick look at the ampersand. It began way back in the days of ancient Rome as a combination of the letters E-T, Latin, et for and. The ampersand used to be used as the last letter of the alphabet. In colonial days, children would pronounce X, Y, Z, and, per se, and. Per se, meaning by itself, also Latin, and, Percent and percent and percent and percent. It surprises me that anyone would find it controversial, but I actually got letters from people who objected to my allowing the publishers to use an ampersand instead of the word and in the title of my book. Here is a print that I made thanks to a friend who works at a print shop. I made it the centerpiece of the only print I have ever made, which is called Homage to the Serial Comma. So the ampersand is useful and beautiful. And if you have trouble making it in your cursive handwriting, what I always do is I just make a treble clef mark, and that is approximately the same look as an ampersand. Yeah, thank you.